Well, hey everyone, Josh Davis here, and uh, this time I decided to do a tutorial on Capture NX2. I figured that since I have the trial version of the software, I might as well just do a couple tutorials for you guys. So this first tutorial is a portrait retouch, uh, and the photo that we're going to be working on is a portrait of Megan uh, that I took with the D700 and the Tamron 70 to 200 2.8 lens. Um, so just to give you a little uh, quick look here at the at the file. This is sh the raw file straight out of the camera and you can see that this lens is pretty sharp. Uh, it was taken at f2.8 so you can see that already the depth of field is really small and you can see the blur uh, in these areas as it gets kind of away from her face. What I do for these types of uh, wide open uh, aperture shots is I focus right on the eye so the eye is in uh, sharp focus and everything else just kind of fades away into a nice soft blur as you get away from the eyes. Um, so, you know, as far as lens uh, lenses goes, this one was only $700 for a 70 to 200 2.8 lens. It's really cheap compared to the, the Nikon and Canon brands, so you can't go wrong with using that Tamron lens. Uh, you can also find a review of that lens uh, on my videos, as well as some pictures on my website at bustedshutter.com uh, that I've taken with this lens as well. So. Uh, enough of the plug for the lens, on to the actual t tutorial. So the first thing that I've noticed is uh, Capture NX2 retains the picture control that you use in your DSLR um, within the RAW file. And I forgot to change it to neutral. I like to use neutral when I do portraits, um, and I, I had had it set to standard. So what we're going to do is over here uh, in the develop section, we're going to expand camera settings and scroll down until we see picture control. And underneath standard, where it says unchanged, I'm going to change it to neutral. And then I'm going to kick the sharpening up to 4. So everything else is uh, at 0 with neutral, and uh, the sharpening goes up to 4. I don't need any noise reduction because this was set at the lowest ISO possible in camera. And I think the, well, the white balance looks pretty, pretty dead on. I used the auto white ba balance with the D700, and it, it, it worked pretty good here. So that's done. I'm uh, going to go under the Quick Fix tab. I think exposure looks pretty good here. Um, I am going to bump up the shadow protection just a little bit uh, to bring out some detail from the shadows. You can't really tell. It's very subtle, but you can see kind of before and then after. I'm only going to bring it up to six here just to bring a little bit more detail out of the shadows. And uh, that's pretty much all we need here in the quick fix section. I, I could adjust the curves if I wanted to to boost contrast a little bit. Um, but I'm not really going to mess with that right now. We don't need to make any camera or lens corrections. Um, you know, no adjustments to a vignette or anything like that. Uh, so that's all set. So the next thing we're going to do is set our white point and black point. In this, uh, in this picture, there's not really a color cast to remove per se, so we don't really need it. But I will demonstrate how to how to do it here in Capture NX. And the first thing we want to do is check this box down here that says Double Threshold. And then take this left uh, slider here and drag it over until you see black show up on the, on the image. And what you want to do is grab the zoom and zoom into that black section. Go up here and grab your uh, black control point and put it in the black area of the, uh, of the picture here. When you're done with that, hit Command-0 to zoom out. And next, you would drag the right slider in until you see white. But we can see already that there's some white down here. Uh, there are some blown highlights, and I believe that was on her ring. Caused a little bit of a blown highlight, so we can zoom in and grab the white point. And click in the white. Command zero to zoom out again, and we can turn off the double threshold. And we can see what the control points uh, do here. We can do a before and then after. Um, it kind of gives a little bit more contrast, and, and it's supposed to remove color casts. Um, this, this particular photo didn't really need it, but I figured I would just demonstrate it for you. The next thing that we're going to do for the portrait retouch is go up here and grab the auto retouch brush. And then what, what we can do with that is just remove any, any blemishes on the skin. Uh, I'm using the left and right uh, bracket keys here to make the brush bigger or smaller. And I generally t try to keep it small and just click and hold over the scar there and it's gone. And you can use the hold down the spacebar key to actually move your picture around. 
while you're using the retouch brush and you just really have to click once over any kind of little blemish or spot on the skin and it kind of samples around uh, the surrounding area and sort of cleans up any kind of uh, mark or uh, blemish on the skin. Um, I'll tend to go under the eyes here and kind of get rid of some of these little marks you see acne or bumps on the picture. I'm not saying Megan doesn't have beautiful skin, but if you're doing a professional portrait or any kind of model shoot, you really want to get it right and uh, clean up some areas of the skin. And just go through. So, And then you can, even when you see lines on the skin like this, you can just drag down over the line, and it's it's gone. Same with this side. We'll try that, see how that looks looks pretty good so you get the idea I'm not gonna really uh, spend a whole lot of time here but if this were an actual portrait I was doing for a client then I would definitely take the time to uh, clean up any and all of the blemishes so once that's done what I like to do uh, on a portrait here is just give a little bit of a high pass effect to the eyes and, and some of the details so we're gonna go up to adjust and it's under focus and go to high pass and what you want to do here is drag this radius slider up in the high pass just until you see uh, some details here so you can start to make out the outlines of, of some of the eyes and the eyebrows and then start to drag it back just until you see the outlines of the details. And I think that's where we're going to be with that. And then expand the opacity. And within this little section, we can actually choose a blend mode and you want to go to overlay. So there we can see kind of a before and after on the high pass. And you can see it really kind of crisps things up a little bit. So when you have it checked here and when it's active, what you can do is go up here to this retouch brush and click the plus sign to go to additive. And then we have a little brush, uh, brush that, that comes up here. And we have our brush opacity, hardness, size, and whatnot. You can use the bracket keys to, controls the, uh, to control the brush. We're just going to paint over the eyes. And since we have it to additive, it's only going to add that high pass layer, that effect that we just created, to the areas that we paint on. So I'm only going to paint over the eyes and some other details over the lips. I'm going just a, a little bit fast here in the essence of time because YouTube only limits me to 10 minutes for a video. So I got to be relatively quick. I'm just going to paint over the details. Uh, and there's some sharp areas here within her little scarf that she has over her head. So I would just paint over those. Again, you can hold down the space bar to move your photo around. And you'll paint over the hair here over the top. Scroll down, paint over the ring a little bit. You get the idea. Go over the details here with a high pass and kind of brings out some punch to the sharpness, make the brush a little bit bigger, these focused areas. Done with the high pass, and, and to finish it off, I would just go up to adjust, uh, let's see, focus, Gaussian blur, set up maybe a 18 pixel blur here, the opacity, crank the opacity down to, I don't know, maybe 30, I start at 30%, and we're going to click the minus here on the brush. We're going to zoom in. And now we're going to click and take away the areas that we don't want that blur. We don't want that blur on the eyes because we want them sharp. Or the eyebrows. And I should have done the high pass on the eyebrows as well. And along the scarf here. Man, I am running out of time already. All right. You get the idea. We don't want the blur in these areas. We can zoom out. And I would take the blur off the lips. Take the blur off the ring. And these other areas down here that we sharpened up with a high pass. And that's, that's pretty much it. That is the portrait retouch using Capture NX. Get it right in the camera, and there's a lot less that you have to do here. Josh Davis, thanks for checking out my videos. Subscribe, rate. Check out my website, bustedshutter.com. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later. Cheers.